Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Blixt, and today we're doing a little tutorial on how to play Hyper Dragon Ball Z. This game is a free fan game made by a development team called Team Z2. And yeah, with that completely out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. So this is the official Hyper Dragon Ball Z website. There's two download buttons, one for a US server and one for an EU server. Now just pick the server, whichever one is closer to you. If you live in the US or close to the US, do the US server. If you click, I mean, if you live in the EU, uh, or near the EU, click the EU server. So click the download button, it'll pop up, click save. Now you're also gonna need WinRAR, and WinRAR is a decrypting tool, not not just for decrypting, it's also a decompressing tool. And the reason why people use RAR files, quick uh, trivia, is it helps decrypt, uh, compress files like really easily, really quickly. So that's why this game is compressed like that. So this website also allows you to download all the other characters, and I thought you guys would think this is cool because, look at this, we got Jiren, Goku Black, and Cell as work in progress characters right now. We've also got a stage work in progress right now, so keep up to date with this website. It's a pretty cool website, as well as you can download all these characters to put in your other Mugen builds. So let's just say you want Super Saiyan Vegeta in your random Mugen build, go for it. Themes and the move list is also here, but this is not the full move list. This is just the general gameplay. Oh wait, no, we got the full move list. Okay, so you can choose whichever character you want. So yeah, move list will be in this um, website as well. So once you've downloaded both Winrar and Hyper Dragon Ball Z, you'll have, why is this tab open? You'll just have the little Hyper Dragon Ball Z uh, RAR file. So all you gotta do now is open it up and here's the actual version of Hyper Dragon Ball Z. You gotta drag it out to your desktop and decompress it and this is where the folder must stay once you uh decompress it so open up your folder and you'll have two other folders subfolders inside of that you'll have the actual game itself and you'll have a move list so if you want to use the offline move list without going online you can go right here check it out and yeah so that's where the offline move list is if you don't want to go to your chrome tab every single time however it will open up in your web browser except you won't need to be connected to the internet Going back to the main game, the way you play the game, as you can see, we have all these little files right here. Now, this is the main game. All you have to do is double click on this exe file, hyperdbz.exe, and the game will open up. However, if you don't want to go into this folder every single time, you can right click the game and you can create a shortcut. Now you've got the shortcut right here. However, this little basic Windows logo isn't like that cool. As you can see, I have just Vegeta down here. And if you're wondering how I did that, you can right click the, the shortcut clip properties Go to change icon, browse, then you can go to desktop or wherever you saved your HyperTPZ and go into the move list. As you can see right here, they actually give you an icon. So why don't we just go ahead and use that icon? So as you can see now, we have the shortcut. So you can pin this to your taskbar. I already have it pinned. Or you can, of course, put it down right on your desktop. And now if you open it up on your desktop, the game will just launch. And of course, it will open up if you press the little taskbar as well. But as you can see, I don't really like having stuff up here, so I'm going to put this back in my main route. Anyways, with that all out of the way, actually, hold on, I need to put it back in there. With that all out of the way, that's pretty much how you play. So if this, actually, one more thing. Let's not end the video too prematurely. I'll show you guys how to set up your controls. So you go to options. Now the basic keyboard bindings are up, down, left, right on your arrow keys, A, S, D, Z, X, and C for your light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick in that order. However, you can go down here, press enter to enter into different options and escape to leave them. And you can change all your keyboard bindings by going to the key, fun, key, key config, if I can talk, and boom, right here is how you change them all. And if you want to use an arcade stick or just a regular controller, you have to enable it by default right here. And then once you do that, go down to joystick config, click enter, click F1, and then boom, you just config it all the way up. Click save right here, and then you're good to go. So yeah, with that all of the way, thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe and stick around for more Hyper Dragon Ball Z content in the future. Peace.